Good morning guys, it is 10 to 7, it's pretty early in the morning um, but just showed up to the school to do my morning stretch. Um, yeah, so in this video I wanted to give you an insight into what it's like going to the World Class Kiteboard Academy, possibly the best school in the world. I wish I could have gone to this when I was a student. Um, but yeah, I'm running a 20 minute stretch this morning. The students actually have to go stretching if they want to kite. Um, it's, I like the camaraderie. If you don't show up to stretching a morning workout, you can't kite that day, which is a new thing they've introduced, but I like it. It means you have to pay to play. After a good stretch, it all went really well. We just had breakfast. Um, a lot of people that ask me about the school think that they're just kiteboarding every day but they actually give them a lot of work so during the day they have to finish their academic work and um, they normally at school to like a normal school time till like three o'clock in the afternoon before going to the beach the idea is of school is they just facilitate them getting to the beach and coaching them on the water so they have that opportunity to be on location in the best kite spots in the world so it's about 9.30 now, we've just finished breakfast. We're a little bit late today because we had a late night yesterday. But I just wanted to show you guys the schedule for today and then we'll go and see what their classrooms are like. Made myself a cup of tea. Can I say what up to Robin? Hey Robin, come join the vlog. What's up? This is Robin. And it is first 313, 315 yesterday. Yeah. Wait, 313 and then 315? Yeah. Pretty cool, we had an epic day checking out a new spot. But now, yeah, I thought it would be cool to show you guys the classroom and it's study hall right now. So, because everyone yeah. thinks that you guys just are chilling and yeah, kiting. I know. But I want to explain that they actually do do some work. A bunch. A bunch. How much work do you do? Too much. Too much. <laughs> Look at that. Quiet. I don't want to disturb the peace or anything, but working really hard or hardly working. I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually doing goal meetings with them. I'm um, talking about their goals for the week, tricks they've landed, tricks they're working on in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go prepare for that. Get ready for a busy day. This is Asher. What up, Asher? What up, Sam? <laughs> He's new to the school. How did you find the first couple of weeks? So fun. Fun yeah. shredding. Hell yeah. Where are you from? Oh, Park City, Utah. A little ski town. Sick, sick. Yeah. And he also likes skateboarding like I do. <laughs> and he's gonna show us a kickflip for the vlog. Yeah. So after a fun morning, going through the goal meetings, breaking down everyone's tricks individually, it's lunchtime. Are you going to pizza? Yeah, like you're in it. Across. Gonna make you famous. <laughs> oh. What are you gonna say to the people? <laughs> uh, follow me on. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, he blew it. He blew it. You missed your chance. I'm trying to figure out whether this has got mayonnaise in. I don't really like mayonnaise, but I love feta. Tricky one. So at the end of the school day, around four o'clock, everyone meets for kite meeting and we get a breakdown of the session plan. Today I'm taking kite meeting and I like to give them a 10 minute quick tutorial about what we're gonna work on today. The groups are gonna be working in, talk about the video review. Um, so yeah, we're gonna to head to the beach for a two hour power session. Check it out. The wind is perfect today, it's around 18 to 
20 knots, so the guys are heading out on their 9, 10, 11 meter kites. Progression session, everyone's fired up after the... Oh, now they're taking the mic out of me. Logging. Everyone's fired up after the goal meetings. And we've got some watermelon! Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Rose in front of the vlog. Yeah, that's perfect. What's going on, Lev? This is Lev, Levster. What tricks are you going to try today? Front rolls. Front rolls? Yeah. Back rolls? Yeah, some big jumps. Switch back rolls? Double back rolls. Double back rolls? Big talk going on here. I want to see it. Get it. Woo! These guys are making a bit of a statement today, getting in the way, so we're keeping out their way because they're pretty grumpy. I think it's because they're jealous we're having more fun than they are. Max. Nice slim chance. Persuaded Asher to do his first beach jump. He's a little bit apprehensive, but he only has half a meter to go. He's meant to be a gnarly skater and he can't even jump half a meter. I saw him jump off a six there the other night in Kickflip, but he won't even do this. So, what are you going to do? Yeah! Now the bindings have softened up. They're dreamy. Going on, dude. Doubles? Yeah. What about front rolls? Here, I'll show you a front roll now. <laughs> Lots of progression. I'd say five or six guys landed new tricks, which was really cool to see. And I find it so rewarding. I love my time with the school, I'm very grateful. And it's really cool to share some of the knowledge that I've learned over the last 12 years of being a professional. Um, so yeah, that wraps up my week with the school. If you want any more information about the school, check out the link in the description below. But as always, really appreciate the love, guys. Oh, and also wanted to just add this disclaimer. All the jokes about the windsurfers are just jokes in jest. Just a bit of friendly banter between the two sports. Um, don't mean any harm by it. Yeah, respect the windsurfers and the locals. Do keep out of the way. That previous video was an accident. I didn't see the windsurfer. So cheers for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Subscribe if you're not already. Like it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.